Today, I want to share with you my passion for skincare. Out of all the things I splurged on in high school, skincare was the only purchase that still gives back to me until today. Who knows what my skin would have looked like without all the sunscreen and SPF moisturizers I've tried. After all, 90% of the signs of premature aging comes from UV exposure. Skincare is a luxury, but it's also an investment on your physical well-being. Your skin is your largest organ. Skincare does serve some cosmetic purposes, but it's mostly about looking after yourself and taking care of your fragile organ. This is how I unwind at night and prep my skin for the next day. For reference, my skin type is dry during summer and extra dry during winter. First, I take off my eye makeup with these organic cotton makeup pads and my trusty Neutrogena eye makeup remover. I love this organic cotton makeup pad because it's so soft and fluffy. When it comes to your eyes, you want to be as gentle as possible so you don't accidentally create premature wrinkles. These soft cotton pads will do the trick. Just soak it up with the Neutrogena eye makeup remover and dab lightly until all the makeup gets loosened. Once loosened, all you need is one gentle swipe to take off the majority of your eye makeup. The next portion of my skincare routine actually takes place in the shower, so that's where we'll be heading. The first thing I do when I get in the shower is swipe a dollop of the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I first heard of this from a Shell Fawn skincare video. I gave it a try and I really liked how it gently melts my makeup off. After rinsing, it doesn't leave an oily residue at all. Even though I don't cake on a lot of foundation or anything, it still takes multiple steps to completely get all the makeup off my face. Cleansing is the most crucial step in my bedtime skincare routine. So after the cleansing balm, I wash my face with a dime-sized amount of the Seed Phytonutrients Gentle Face Wash. What's unique about this brand is that the entire container is recyclable and inside the packaging of every product is a unique seed packet. I've actually grown some arugula from the previous product that I finished. I love this face wash. Finally, it's worth it to note that I used to finish off my cleansing routine with the Revision Skincare Papaya Enzyme Cleanser. But the top part of the cap popped off, so there's that. It's a shame because I really enjoyed using this enzyme cleanser. I hope they'll fix the packaging soon. I prefer enzyme exfoliants over physical scrubs because it gently polishes away dead skin cells without leaving uneven cuts and tears like some physical scrubs do. After cleansing my skin, I move right on over to shampooing my hair. Although this video is sponsored by Function of Beauty, I'm not just recommending their shampoo and conditioner because they've sponsored me. I turn down tens of thousands of dollars in sponsorship requests every month and only work with the brands that truly excite me, such as this one. And even so, I made sure to use their hair products for at least a month before I'm recommending it to you guys. Hair is just as personal as skin, so there shouldn't be a one-size-fits-all type of hair product. That's why I love Function of Beauty. You can go online to take their quiz 
and customize your own shampoo based on your hair type, hair goals, and personal preferences. You can even choose your own color and fragrance. I chose my shampoo without dye and my conditioner with dye. There are no parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins, and it is 100% vegan and cruelty-free. You can click on the link in my description to get 20% off your first order. I'll show you the results after my hair dries. I like to gently scrunch it with my towel and leave my hair to dry naturally because the blow dryer always damages my hair. I also like to comb it out gently so that it dries straight. Try not to brush your hair when it's wet because it'll sustain some serious damage. Combing it is better. I'm using a fine tooth comb because my hair is already naturally easy to comb without any knots and waves. If your hair has more texture than mine, I recommend using a large detangling comb. Now onto the hydrating part of my skincare routine. I actually have to space this part out a bit because I still want to eat and brush my teeth before I apply everything to my skin. To keep my skin nice and moist after leaving the shower, I apply a dollop of the Tarte Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. Look at how gorgeous that is. It feels so nice and smooth on my skin. This gel moisturizer contains algae, which fights free radicals and helps reduce the look of fine lines. My go-to hydrating boost used to be the Revision Hydrating Serum, but I just ran out of this amazing stuff, so Tarte Cosmetics came through right on time. Plus, for the price point, I think the H2O moisturizer wins. After massaging the gel moisturizer into my skin and neck, I basically get to do whatever I want before bed. Tonight, I'm going to wind down with some aromatherapy and a matcha latte. Here's a little trick I've been doing to boost my skin from the inside out. I break a collagen capsule into my matcha. And honestly, the collagen powder kind of tastes like matcha anyway, so it doesn't bother me at all. This is the best collagen I've ever tried. Collagen is the fibrous glue that holds your skin, hair, nails, organs, muscles, teeth, bones, blood vessels, tendons, and your digestive system together. As you age, the collagen in your skin starts depleting, which is why your face loses that youthful plumpness as you get older. Well, not today, Satan. I'm totally kidding. There's so much grace in getting older. I just need collagen to help strengthen my stomach lining since I'm taking antibiotics right now. The extra anti-aging properties don't hurt either. Alright, now it's time to brush my teeth and finish the rest of my skincare routine. It wouldn't be complete without a good retinol serum. Let me just say that retinol was life-changing for me. It completely cleared my skin of melia, helped with my rosacea, and made my sunspots fade considerably. Retinol is basically vitamin A, 
which helps to speed up your cell turnover rate, so you basically wake up with what looks like brand new skin. I like to combine a pea-sized amount of the OZ Naturals Retinol Serum with a pea-sized amount of the Pure Biology Night Cream, which also has a little bit of retinol in it. After trying these products alone and combining it with other serums and night creams, I can safely say that this specific combination worked best for me. The next day, my skin always looks even, smooth, and clear. I love this combination. But don't forget to pack on sunscreen and maybe even wear a hat. Because retinol makes your skin ultra sensitive to the sun. If you don't protect your skin the next day, you will get sun damage. Also, I make sure to only use a small amount of retinol twice a week at most. You don't want to overuse retinol. Dr. Patterson from Woodford Medical said, The main function of the top layer of the skin is to protect us, to keep away environmental factors. The more retinol you put on, the poorer the barrier function becomes. This is why a lot of people feel that their skin is very sensitive and experience peeling, flaking, and irritation. There's definitely no rush to start using retinol if you're in your early 20s, but you can slowly incorporate a small amount into your skincare routine as you get older. It'll make the biggest difference. By the way, this is what my hair looks like after drying. It feels super soft and hydrated. I hope you enjoyed my nighttime skincare routine. There's a lot of goodies packed in here since skincare gets me so excited. Let me know in the comments if you want to see my morning routine.